Let's talk about scheduling agent updates in Azure Virtual Desktop. A preview feature to schedule agent updates was recently released for Azure Virtual Desktop. This is a great feature for managing agent versions and it makes validation host pools more useful. In this video, we review the Azure Virtual Desktop agent and why scheduling updates is important. Before that, please like, smash that subscribe button, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and share with a friend or even a casual acquaintance. Getting started with Azure Virtual Desktop, check out my course on udb.com. The link is below. Let's get to it and we'll start with what exactly makes an Azure VM a session host for Azure Virtual Desktop? Not the OS. All OS versions supported by Azure Virtual Desktop can be deployed as standalone VMs. A session host is a logical representation of a virtual machine in Azure Virtual Desktop. We can manage session host settings in Azure Virtual Desktop, but have to go to the virtual machine management to manage the VM. The link that connects a VM to Azure Virtual Desktop and makes it a session host is the Azure Virtual Desktop agent. The agent facilitates communication between the Azure Virtual Desktop service and the VM. The agent is installed automatically on a VM when we create a session host through the portal. We can add the agent to an existing VM, a VM created in PowerShell for example, to add that VM to the host pool as a session host. When installed, the Azure Virtual Desktop agent installs two additional services, the Azure Virtual Desktop side-by-side -side stack and the Geneva monitoring agent. The side-by-side -side stack is used to create a secure reverse server to client connection for the user to the VM. The Geneva monitoring agent monitors the agent health. All three of these, the Azure Virtual Desktop agent, side-by-side -side agent, and Geneva monitoring agent have to be in place for the session host to function properly. Once the agent is installed, it queries the Azure Virtual Desktop service for updates to the agent, side-by-side -side stack, or monitoring agent, and updates them as needed. After that, agent updates take place over a five-day period called flights. Each region will update at different times in the five-day period. The updates only take a couple minutes to finish and should not impact the VM, but many organizations want more control over when these updates take place. We may want to know when the update happens so we can coordinate with any troubleshooting efforts, or there could be a policy in place that requires all updates to take place outside of business hours. This is where scheduling agent updates can help. By scheduling the updates, we have control over when the updates take place. Something to keep in mind, validation host pools update much more frequently than non-validation environments. We can schedule updates for a validation host pool as well, but we may want to consider updating them more frequently. I didn't find a lot of information on scheduling updates and validation host pools in the documentation, but testing in my lab showed that agent updates follow the schedule for both validation and non-validation environments. Knowing when validation host pools get updated will help you verify functionality before those changes go to non-validation environments. Let's jump into the lab and set it up. Here we are in the host pool. Scheduled updates are set at each host pool. Early on, I did have to enable then disable validation environment for scheduled agent updates to show, but that could have been a timing issue when the preview became available. All my new and existing host pools now have the option. Let's go to the host pool. We'll use this one for the example. And from here, we'll go to scheduled agent updates. If we leave this option blank, it will continue working as it did before. Let's enable the option and schedule updates. If the time zone is set at the session host, we could update based on that time zone. For this example, we'll set the time zone. Central US for this example. We can set one or two maintenance windows. The window lasts for two hours to accommodate all three of the agent components. Let's set this one for Saturday at 1 a.m. We can also set a second maintenance window in case there isn't enough time for the first to finish. 
or if we want to be more aggressive with updates. Let's set this one for Sunday at 1 a.m. Alternatively, consider setting it to a time midweek for validation host pools that update more frequently. The point of a validation host pool is to validate updates after all. Once finished, click Apply to save the changes. It's that simple. Keep in mind that this will have to be set at each host pool. That's how to configure scheduled updates for Azure Virtual Desktop. Please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.